We have breaking news from Washington. Congressman Tom Marino, President Trump's nominee to be federal drug czar, has now withdrawn his nomination. An investigation by 60 Minutes and The Washington Post highlighted Marino's role in the weakening of the Drug Enforcement Administration's control over opioid drug distributors. The president said yesterday he would look again at this issue. I did see the report. We're going to look into the report. We're going to take it very seriously because uh, we're going to have a major announcement probably next week on the drug crisis and on the opioid massive problem. Representative Marino sponsored a law limiting the DEA's enforcement power that took effect in 2016. More than 64,000 Americans died that year from drug overdoses, most from opioids. Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill. Nancy, good morning. Good morning. Here's what the president tweeted a short time ago. Representative Tom Marino has informed me that he is withdrawing his name from consideration as drug czar. Tom is a fine man and a great congressman. But an increasing number of Democrats had been pushing this president to choose someone else to represent the nation's fight against drugs. Tom Marino going to be the drug czar. He's going to do a great job. As recently as last week, President Trump was touting his pick to lead the nation's drug control effort. But in the wake of the 60 Minutes Washington Post investigation, he acknowledged he was having second thoughts. We're going to look into the report. We're going to take it very seriously. On Monday, West Virginia Democrat Joe Manchin sent a letter to President Trump urging him to pull Marino's nomination. There's nobody in my state going to believe that he is going to be sincere or be effective. I saw it. It's, uh, it's disturbing. Lawmakers are struggling to figure out how they unwittingly passed a bill weakening the DEA. Those in favor say aye. Aye. The one and a half year old law makes it harder for drug enforcement officers to block suspicious shipments of opiates that can flood the black market and fuel addiction. There should have been a giant flashing red light. Missouri Democrat Claire McCaskill introduced a bill Monday to repeal the law. I think it was fairly clear some of them were trying to work with the drug companies. But Utah Republican Orrin Hatch defended the law and his role in writing it. Anyone who claims that I or anyone else steamrolled DEA and DOJ on this bill is either ignorant or woefully misinformed. And other sponsors said they got mixed messages from law enforcement. California Democrat Judy Chu said when she met with the acting head of the DEA, he insisted that the bill would not negatively impact their work. One Republican author of the bill, Tennessee Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn, says if it has had unintended consequences, they should make changes right away. So there is now mounting bipartisan agreement that something is going to have to happen in the wake of this 60 Minutes Washington Post investigation. Nancy, thank you very much.